Hey, what's up there, everyone? This is Batten5 with you again. I haven't made a video in a while, and first I'm going to apologize for the shaky camera. I can't find the thing that holds my camera to put it onto the stand, so this one's going to be a little shaky. I'm going to be moving a lot, and I don't feel like sitting. I was going to stand for this one, but I haven't made a video in a while, and there's a few reasons for that. Number one, um, I really haven't had a whole lot to talk about lately. I mean, just I've been doing just various shit, and um, with a lot of like, the atheist infighting that's been happening lately, I'm... I don't want to get involved in all this shit, you know, like people are attacking Pat Condell and Thunderfoot, this person, that person, and I'm not going to get all involved in that shit because, you know, I can see where some people are coming from and I can see where other people are coming from. And number two, I was working on, well, I guess number three, um, I was working on a video to Mystical Forest, and it was his video that he was talking about Glenn Beck and some guy was sending his trash to Glenn Beck, and I was going to do that, but then I realized something. It's a fucking waste of time with these fucking idiots. It really is. It's not only a waste of my time, but it's a waste of your time for even watching it. You know, this fucker's never going to get it. He's never going to. Period. You know, these conservative fucktards who think that if you don't agree with them, then you're an asshole. They piss me off. You know, um, Rith Randall, he's conservative. But, you know, Mystical Force, oh no, you're not a conservative because you don't agree with me. And um, I'm maybe I'm overstepping my bounds here, but I believe like well like Mike Libertarian, he's he's a conservative, yet he has different views. Um, I want to say that um, Iman Juno is somewhat conservative. I know he's the least capitalist, which is further right than I am. I'm more of a socialist. Um, and then Stone Commander, my friend, uh, who I talk to quite a bit, I think he's kind of conservative too. But that's fine. These guys are fine. They don't think that you have to agree with them to be a conservative or to be cool or to be smart or anything like that. So, I just get really pissed off. Well, I came across a guy who has no videos, of course. He's a gutless fucking coward. He either won't fucking do a video because he's too much of a fucking pussy because people attack him, or he just has no motivation to do it. But I fucking came across him on a Young Turks video, and... He's talking about how, you know, Obama, you know, he has a birth certificate. And I printed off the shit that's on his channel. And instead of doing screen captures, I'm just going to read it and I'm not going to edit and all that shit. Fuck it. Here's what his uh, channel description is. Fuck you all. Stupidity should hurt. Obama was born in Kenya. Global warming is caused by the sun. Waterboarding isn't torture. Liberalism is a mental disorder for faggots, dykes, whores, and idiots. I'm going to point out, I forgot to say the guy's name. His name is King Dingling 90 But anyway, first off, I agree. Stupidity should hurt, and it should hurt this motherfucker. Obama was not born in Kenya. Global warming is not caused by the sun because scientists say it's caused by us. In fact, it's pretty fucking apparent. Just because one person says it's not, that doesn't mean that all of a sudden, oh, wait, the scientists are wrong. Waterboarding is torture. Hmm, another conservative, Christopher Hitchens, even proved it. He was fucking saying it. Uh, liberalism is a mental disorder. Hmm, funny, because that's never said by any kind of psychiatrist or anyone like that. Um, for faggots, dykes, whores, and idiots. Well, he's already a fucking big. For faggots and dykes. Wow, you actually put that on your fucking channel? Yeah, you already lose a ton of credibility, you fucking idiot. Obama is a demagogue. H.L. Mencken defined a demagogue as one who will preach doctrines he knows to be untrue to men he knows to be idiots. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you mean like what Bush did? Well, he actually makes a comment about Bush. Fuck Bush. He stabbed Border Patrol agents, my heroes, and Marines in the back. Fuck Obama more. He is a liar. Oh, but Bush isn't. And he should be in prison for fraud. Fraud on what, you fucking idiot? Nancy Pelosi is a nasty old witch. Okay. Wow. Wow. That must be a fucking devastating comeback in the stock room at Circuit City. And her face is melting off her ugly head. She's old. That happens. Harry Reid is a little bitch, and he should be in jail for bribery. McCain is a threat to the conservative movement. Oh, fuck. And he's ashamed to his family's name, which he misspelled family, so I'll just point that out. I have never witnessed a more miserable attempt to win something or even be proud of yourself. Okay, uh, whatever, but, you know, I can never, well, I, I really can't think of a more fucking pathetic attempt for Bush to win other than boys kissing. 
you, McCain, are the scum of all candidates. But I thought, you know, fuck Bush and fuck Obama, but McCain's the worst? Sarah Palin is the shit. She's, she has, that has no apostrophe. Hot, smart, conservative, and everyone I hate is jealous of her. Thank you, God. No, I'm not jealous of her. In fact, I pity her because she is so fucking stupid. I'm King Dingling. Yes, you are. I talk shit to people who I think are stupid or wrong or usually both. Wow. Fuck, my battery's running out. I'm going to try to keep this going. I would destroy any liberal in any debate about any relevant topic any day of the week. Bring it the fuck on. If you repeat yourself or get on my nerves, I will block your lame ass. Wow, you're a pussy. Debating liberals is like playing tennis with no net. And when you tell them facts and smash an ace on their worldview, they call it an opinion. You're a fucking idiot. There is something seriously wrong with these children, and I blame the overgrown toddlers from the 60s. Really, because most of the fucking people from the 60s actually turned out to be conservatives. If you actually knew some shit, you would know that. You are, you the Marxist professors. You dropped too much acid and fried your sense of logic and foresight. Sure, hmm, like, oh, you mean like these wars that we're doing? That you fuck supported? <clears throat> In order to save the West from these freaks, I suggest a mandatory cor course on current events which focuses on the top 20 lies and facts about both the right and the left. Well, maybe you should look at your fucking self, you idiot, since you're spewing fucking lies already. Multiculturalism is another name for international socialism, and it has already killed 100 million people. And how is this, you fucking idiot? Give some fucking examples before you start spouting shit. Green is the new red. Environmentalists are mass-murdering eugenicists who should kill themselves and stop reproducing, like some already have. We're mass-murdering eugenicists. Really. Who did I murder? I don't even eat animals because I don't want to kill them. I don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, I'm a mass murderer. And I'm a eugenicist. Wow. Jesus Christ. Well, you're the one that thinks Palin is smart, so maybe eugenics is kind of a good idea. I'm being sarcastic, by the way, about me. I'm a concerned individual. Oh, I bet you are, you know, because other people having different opinions or different ideas, well, for fuck's sake, that's evil and that's stupid. My old intro kind of portrays that. And he completely butchers that sentence. I get mad when I think about a childish, spineless group of people, liberals, that are trying to take over my country. I am, I am wrong saying fuck you all. Alright, first off, we're not trying to take over the fucking country, idiot. You are. People like you think that anyone who has any other fucking idea is a fucking idiot, is a fucking asshole, doesn't know what they're talking about. And unlike you, I don't think that. I think that different ideas make this country better. I think it makes things better. We can be better off. We have different ideas. Maybe if there's another idea, it will be a better idea and we can use this. Oh, but fucks like you can't fucking accept that you were just like Miskel Force. You sad, miserable fuck. And you're still on this Obama thing. He wasn't born here. Okay. And then we had a little debate, which I think I'm just done with him. Because he says, Obama had a certi certification of live birth. Not a certificate of live birth. Really? Okay. C certification of live birth was from Hawaii. Okay, so he was born there, right? It's not the same. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever. Get the fuck over it, you little whiny, pussy, bigoted schoolgirl. Get the fuck over it, you lost motherfucker. You need to accept that. Just like I had to accept in 2000 and 2004 that Bush fucking won. I had to accept it. You had to accept it. You don't have to love the guy. Just accept that he fucking won. The majority of people in this country voted for him. So, get the fuck over it. He was born here. You're fucking lame. You believe in bullshit like Illuminati and conspiracy theories. So, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, even though you try to bully people into thinking that you do. So, get a fucking life, dude. Or, if you really want to join this bait, make some fucking videos. Instead of just being a goddamn troll and some fucking videos. God, you're a fucking pathetic, dickless coward. Fuck you. Yeah.